Lee, how does it feel to be a player in a facility like this? Yeah, it's a fantastic facility, you should see it. It's enormous and uh, the players are excited to be in here. And um, it's like buying a new house, you know, you don't really know exactly where everything needs to go until you've lived there for a while. You've got to move the furniture around a bit. So we'll find our way as we go, but it's really exciting. The players are really embracing it. What was your first reaction when you walked in here and saw the Robbins apartments and the state of the art, best in the NFL, maybe the world? Yeah, it's just the sheer size and scope of it. And the gym really stood out, you know, it's probably four or five times the size of our old gym, but we can all get there and work together at the same time, which is really a good boost for us and, um, and unity and get there and work hard together. And then, as soon as you go through the players' change room, down at the Oval, um, it's just fantastic. And, you know, through talking to uh, Steve and, and other people, the fact that we can move the Oval to any size, uh, just to how we're, we're going to play that week is really fantastic and uh, good option for us. What's the great advantage of being able to get into the gym and work together? I guess it's free agent going to the groups and you can do your weights as small groups. Yeah, certainly. I think it, it um, minimises the time players spend, you know, just waiting around for the doing nothing, really waiting around, and um, you'll get there together and get to work hard. So you, know, you get all get the backs and the mids and the boards that are working in silos. So you're all together working hard, you can see each other doing the work, and you can sort of, you know, push each other along and drive each other as well and try and progress out of each other. Training at altitude, sleeping at altitude, what, what, know what benefit that is or can you explain that to us? I've done a lot of it in the past but I know that some players have done they really really like it. I know that crowds did it in the past and really swears but I think it's a really, really big advantage so I think to have those facilities available and to really tap into them is going to be a huge benefit for all the playing group and be able to train at, our, at that altitude and really benefit us going forward. And, you know when we play in the warmer climates um, during the year you know Darwin and Brisbane and those sort of things really that can be a big advantage for us. You know, so, sorry, the other side of this is I'm sure if you brought players here and had a look and you were trying to recruit, they'd be super impressed with so. Yeah, certainly. What do you think just walking out here, standing out at the top, looking around the Oval, you just think, wow, well, like I'd love to be part of it. So um, I think it's certainly be a foil for our recruiters. Perfect timing too, isn't it? You've got a month before the season gets underway. You get in here to sink your teeth in there and get used to it all. Yeah, exactly. Like I was saying before, you sort of find out where everything is and the best way to utilise these facilities because they're so so vast and um, really there's so much available to you, you just need to find exactly how to use it and when to use it and um, that getting into that month early will give us that best opportunity to do that. Our focus is a, this weekend and uh, a derby first up and it looks like two very strong teams, fair to say three are will feel you know, one of the stronger teams. Yeah, as the JLT series goes, it's all about building to round one for us and um, getting game time in the players and, and giving us the best opportunity to perform in round one. So I'm sure the match committee um, will do what's best for the team and um, we'll just important. Have you been told that you're going to have one? Well, just our first training session, really, we just got in yesterday, had a look at it, we'll be out there and train today and get through, and then we'll go from there. And I think from there, we'll cross this down and just look at train out what it looks like we can do. What's the senior player like yourself likely to play out of the three matches that you've played two? In the past, I've, I've played two, but that's um, been a little bit to do with I've got a big split lip in one of them with some stitches and that sort of stuff. So the last couple of years I've only played two, but that's been a management phase. Certainly, I think as a player, after you've gone through a whole, whole pre season, we've had a pretty grueling pre season this year. I think if you get around the games, that's the fun part, that's the part you enjoy. So I think your players are going to do as much as you can. I'm not really sure exactly about who's playing and not playing. I think the most important thing for us is to get through training today. Have a session on the new on the new deck and um, get a feel for it, and then we'll adjust from there. Is there a sense of a new era? Though? You know, he's a new facility, new captain. So it's a younger team. Is there a sense through the through the group? It's sort of like it's an exciting new time. There's sort of certainly an exciting new group, and as you know, we've got some new players, we've got some new players with some really exciting talent. Um, so I think certainly there's buzz around, but then the most important thing for us is before game day and round one. That's what we're doing towards. We haven't lost focus. We're not going to get too caught up into moving a new facility. Whilst it's fantastic and they're really excited, it's really important for our members and fans. And this is the future for us. And we can see ourselves being here for a very long time and giving us the best opportunity for what we want to achieve and be successful. So that's that's the fantastic thing the players see, and that's the fantastic thing our, our members and fans should see. But as a player, I think it's about the work's about to start and focus on that and stay in the moment. Can you adjust the size of the ground for one fellow over? Can you adjust the size of the training ground this week for one fellow over in Jersey? I'm not sure, it could be a question <laughs> they'll have to do, but we've been told to adjust any size ground in Australia, so it might be a good test for them to get the dimensions out of the GPS and uh, get it set up. In some ways,
best possible play you can do. Uh, does it feel like it like that too, where you have to sort of, you sort of have to perform? Well, certainly we understand the expectations on ourselves and we're aiming to, to finish high and we're aiming to play finals. But we understand we've got a young group that's transitioning. And like I said before, we've got a young group, we've got a lot of new players in. A lot of players are still really learning their craft. And this facility is going to give us the best opportunity to fast train those young players and to get the most out of them. So that's what we're going to be excited There's always pressure in AFL, you know, regardless of where, where you are at the ladder, where you finish and how you're going. First game player or a 200 game player, you feel that pressure going out. That's that's the nature of the beast. That's why we love playing, and that's why people love watching the NFL. It looks like the club is developing more and more players that we use in the back half. Players running the ball out. This is talk today, man. You might go back to Steve, you might go back to Lockie Weller, and the boys play for the back there. Is there a greater pressure on the spots than they do? I think with the way the game is shifting, you need to change. Down more and more, that versatility is a major part. And it's like when you're a young player and you want to play midfield, you want to play somewhere, you've got to bide your time and do your apprenticeship. And I think uh, being able to play through a variety of roles and able to get the side quicker, and I think that's the way that we're going to train. Obviously, you yeah. oh, no, maybe you can put, pass it to the Ross, give me down for take a few. Lee's a good, uh, the Eagles say they're going to be probably at full strength. Is that good for you in preparation? It's one, it's the arch rival, but also. They'll be a full strength and they're probably a team that will be quite premiership at the end of the season. Yeah, I think one of our mottos when we're at our best is anytime, anywhere. And it's a really good challenge for us. So we don't we don't mind who we play, where we play, when we play them, whether it's raining, hot, cold, we just show up and bring our effort and our uh, really our trademark. So that's what we're excited to do, is so we want to get back to back to our best. So it's one of these days as who's there, who's not there, um, we walk up and play. So we go away. We didn't shift away from it, but we weren't able to deliver as effectively and as consistently as we would have liked. And that's the, the beauty of a new year, you get to get back and get another chance, and we're really excited about that. Well, the, uh, Alex Pierce, how's he going? Is he walking? Is he, where's he up to? Yeah, I've seen Alex around. Obviously, he's still got that, um, that boot that he's, he's walking around in, but he's tracking really well, and um, hopefully, we'll see him back this year. Has he joined you in training yet? Or any closer? No. Yeah, Harley's got that, that process of the physios and the strength conditioning. And, medical group have come up with and they're going to stick to that and we're going to take a no risk policy with Harley and really build him back and get him cherry ripe so that he can come back this year and play some really good footy course. When that is, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, that would be a question for the strength conditioning staff, but they won't take the risk. As an opponent, what are you expecting from Sam Mitchell on this coast this year and this week? Yeah, very much similar to probably week to live in Baltimore where he's, he's a generally direct and he's, he's a great user and he's very clever. So he'll bring all those attributes to West Coast and deliver and um, they've got a lot of good players, Curtis, Gaff, Rada. So we've got a lot to worry about.